Um, so my name is Leah Paul. I have a two-year-old daughter named Marnie. And I started Sweet Potato Music when my daughter was about six months old. I've been a professional musician and composer and orchestrator for a long time. And I've also been teaching music for about 20 years. And when my daughter was really young, I just started thinking about what was important to me as far as her musical education and kind of bridging the gaps between things I would see with kids who were 8, 10, 15, 18 years old and what kinds of things I could be doing with her when she was little. And I just realized I really had the perfect background to kind of be doing this with her. I started, you know, very, very small. I wrote about eight or nine songs and just got a group of friends together who had babies and I tried them out and I got a really positive response. So I, I just really just set up shop on my own and just started holding these classes. Um, and it's grown really quickly and it's kind of turned into, you know, the thing I'm most excited about. Um, I'm always writing new material, the class is always changing. It just really feels like the culmination of everything I've been doing with my career as a musician has kind of led me to this place of creating creating this company. You're going to be able to have this deeper relationship with your child as they become a person who loves music, a person who might learn an instrument. Of course, not everyone's going to be a professional musician, but if your child is taking piano lessons, you're going to be able to engage with them in a different way than just saying, your teacher said you had to practice 30 minutes today. You know, I haven't heard 30 minutes. You're going to be able to sit down with them. They're going to be able to tell you what they're working on. And it just really is another way to be involved in what your child's learning and to be supportive of what they might be doing. As an educator, you know, I'm drawing on a lot of different schools of musical learning, such as Orf, Kodai, Del Crows. Um, I've been teaching flute and clarinet to older kids for a very long time. So I'm really using all these different methodologies and just making them my own and thinking how I want to execute them in these songs. The type of person who's going to enjoy sweet potato music is someone who wants a colorful, high energy music class with original songs that you're going to get to take home and learn and participate with your kids. It's so much fun.